Hey divers, Alec Pierce Scuba here. I'm back again with another tech tip. And this tech tip is another one, another tech tip that is a result of questions, comments from, uh, from you subscribers. And I love it. Keep those questions and comments coming. You keep asking me questions, I'll do this forever. Well, maybe you should stop. Huh? Anyway, uh, here we go. So uh, a while ago, somebody asked me whether or not they could mix different brands. I wasn't sure what he meant. They want a Sherwood fin in one foot, a Scuba Pro fin in the other, but no. What he meant, and I knew this, is it possible, permissible, even technically uh, uh, able to have different parts in a regulator. So suppose you had a Scuba Pro first stage and, and a Sherwood second stage, would that work? The answer is yes, it will. If, if you go back to that, I forget what that was in, Mixing Brands maybe, I think there was a, a video a while ago called Mixing Brands, so that's probably it. And uh, the answer is yes, you can do that. Almost 100%, not quite, there are a couple of odd ones, but almost 100% of the major scuba brands made today, today are 100% compatible. The threads, the hoses are all, almost exactly the same. So the answer is yes, you can mix them. However, uh, there's always a hand of however, right? there's always a but, isn't there? And as I explained in that particular video, but because the threads and the hoses and the fittings all work and you can put it all back together and it looks beautiful, doesn't mean it's going to perform properly. And the reason for that is, is as I explained in that video, is very simple. That the first stage of the regulator takes pressure from the tank at 3,000 PSI and it reduces it to what's called intermediate pressure. We'll call it IEP, intermediate pressure. That's the pressure that comes out of the first stage and travels to the second stage. And it's much lower than, this is 3,000. This intermediate pressure is about 150. We use 150 as a, as a general uh, term. It could be anywhere from 120 to 160, 150 approximately. And then it goes to the second stage, right, to your mouthpiece, second stage, 150 into the second stage. And then when you, and it stays there, sits there, ooh, ready to go. You suck, on the, you suck on the second stage, and the air is sitting there waiting, and you pull the diaphragm in, the lever comes in, and you get air. And as soon as you take that air out of the hose, and the first stage opens again, it takes more air out of the tank at 3,000, drops it to 150, puts it into the hole ready for you. So that's what happens. 3,000, chain turns it into 150, and then to ambient, to, to you, on the surface or 100 feet, doesn't matter, it's always the same as the pressure where you are. So that's how it works. Now here's the problem mixing brands. And here's an example. We have a Scuba Pro Mark 17 first stage, Mark 25 first stage, <laughs> Scuba Pro Mark 25. They're venerable, old, it's been around a long time. Very, very popular, very classic, very reliable, very, very good first stage. Mark 25 first stage. And I have stuck onto, onto, onto the hose. Here's the hose on the Mark 25. I stuck onto the end of the hose, this Sherwood Brute. So we have a very high class, very sophisticated first stage, and here we have a very standard, very straightforward second stage, a good quality second stage, but certainly nothing fancy about it. Uh, it works. That's its redeeming feature. They're mismatched, right? But they fit on there. The hoses all fit perfectly. Let's watch and see what happens. See? You see what I mean? So they fit together perfectly, but they're not matched. Somebody was asking me, well, how do you match them? I told them, take it to your local dive store. Because they have the proper tools and the expertise and, 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 and the, the, the training and everything else to do it for you. And I said, if you have a situation like this, you take it to your local dive store and say, hey, can you adjust this for me? It might take five minutes, maybe ten. And the chap, just to be fair, because he has to, you know, he's, to, he's probably got a wife and kids and all those neat things as well. He has to pay. He's probably going to charge you a few dollars, but it shouldn't be very much. 15, 20 bucks, and you're out of there, assuming there's nothing else wrong with the system, okay? Straightforward adjustment of the second stage. Now, I know that a lot of you guys out there are technically inclined, and you're doing this, you're changing stuff, and stuff like that. I'm not a big uh, proponent of that. You should be doing, certainly if it's under warranty, you need to. But even afterwards, you should be taking it to your local dive store, using the proper components, the proper tools. However, I'm going to show you something, okay? Here we have a, a, a regulator system. First stage, it happens to be a Scuba Pro Mark 25, and it has a second stage on here. And for some strange reason, uh, this particular diver, me, <laughs> I put this old brute, good old solid Sherwood. This is this is the F-150, right? Okay, this is her Mercedes-Benz. 
it don't make a pickup truck, does it? Good. Because uh, the F-150 is the best there is. Yeah, but anyway, so here we have mismatched. We also happen to have a safe second on here, an octopus, and I also have a low pressure hose on here too. So we're all set to go. So we got it all back together. Everything fits, working perfectly. We turn the air on and second stage free flows. What do you do? Well, here's what you do. First of all, you need some wrenches. Here's what you need. I'll show you the tools, exactly what you need. You probably need, in order to change the ports, a, an Allen key, 530 seconds Allen key. Here's all you need to service regulators. Basic service, not internal. Allen key, 530 seconds. You need a 9 16 wrench, open end. You need a 5 H. You need an 11 16 and 3 quarters. We call that 9, 5, 11, and 3. 9, 5, 11, and 3. 9 16 5 eighths, 11 16 3 quarters, okay? And you need a flat bladed screwdriver. Medium, medium flat blade, like that. Now these are not the technical tools that a dive store, that your local dive store would use. The dive store would always have an intermediate pressure gauge with a relief, and it would have an inline adjuster. I'm going to leave those away for a minute. I'll show you how they work in just a second. Here we go. So what do we have to do? Well, that second stage you carefully put on at the end of that hose, take it off, like that. Can you take that second stage off? Now look in the end. I'm going to say 90%. 80% of regulators, you look in the end, and you will see down in the end, you'll see a slot. You see a hole, and you'll see it's a slot. A screwdriver fits in that slot. Put the screwdriver into that slot and turn it in. Half a turn. About like that. Okay. So I'll put it back on the hose. <coughs> Just quickly thread it on. It doesn't have to be on tight because it's O ring sealed. Put it back on there. Oh, that's pretty good. That's actually the safe second leaking a little bit there. We'll put that out of the way. I'm going to do that in a minute. There we go. Fixed. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that stopped free flowing. Oh, well, we're getting some air. Not too much because I turned it into a little bit too much. That's the adjustment of the second stage, making the second stage match the intermediate pressure coming from the first stage. We turned it in too much. I told you, I suggested you to turn that in a half a turn. Take it back out a quarter turn. About like that. Put the hose back on. You see, it's not hard to do. It's just time consuming and painstaking and not too accurate. So you take it back out. Let's try again. Well, that's better. Breathing a little bit better, still a little bit hard. So all what you do is you turn it out a little bit more. See what I mean? It's just time consuming. <clears throat> Turn it up just a little bit more. Make it a bit easier to breathe. Oh, let's try that. <clears throat> Bring it back together. You see? Yeah. So, but it can be done. It just takes time. Turn it back on. Oh, a little bit of a free flow. A little wee bit. <laughs> Breathes beautifully. Bit of a free flow, though. So, what do you do now? You go back inside, a little bit back the way it was. That'll stop the free flow. Still be easy breathing. So, you see what you're doing? You're adjusting the second stage to match the intermediate pressure. So that the valve in the second stage will stop that intermediate pressure from flowing through until you suck on it. Push the diaphragm in like that. Okay? Not hard to do at all. Now, <clears throat> suppose in this case, we have a safe second. And this safe second is from excess scuba. Excellent safe seconds. And this one is exactly the same. If you open this up and look in the end, let's just see now. Yep, there's a screw in it. So that was free flowing a little bit. So we'll just put that in there quite a little wee bit. And we'll put this back on now. <clears throat> same thing, same process. Most second stages are exactly the same. Put that back on. <clears throat> now let's turn this back on and see what happens. Still free flowing a little bit. Try one more time. <clears throat> a little less. Turn it back in a little bit more. Something like that. Hose back on. <clears throat> You fellows that are playing with your own regulators, again, remember, I'm not condoning this, but you asked, I'm showing. There we go. No free flow. Yep, still works. Good, no free flow. Yep, done. That was easy enough. Now it's not perfect because you're not right on the edge. To get a regular breathing beautifully easy, you want to have it loose enough. That is just about to start free flowing. So when you breathe on it, it's easy. But not loose enough that it actually does free flow. How do you do that really accurately? Well, you can spend another 20 minutes back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. But there actually is an easier way. Obviously, 
dive store service people don't do that. It would just take them forever to service your regular. So dive store service people, technicians, they have a device called an inline adjustment. And this a tool looks just like this. This tool goes into the second stage, fastens in place. And then the hose goes here. So you see why it's called inline? Yes, exactly. This tool is inline. And now this thing here, you see this? This has actually got a screwdriver on the end. Watch this. Turn the air on. I'm going to turn this open. Turn it closed. Open, closed. Open, closed. No free flow. Right on the edge. No free flow. Right close, though. Right close. That's perfect. Turn the air off. Purge it. Take this off. Put it back together properly, and your second stage has been adjusted perfectly to the intermediate pressure of the first stage, even though they're different brands and tidies. It doesn't matter if they're different brands. 150 PSI from Skiru Pro is 150 PSI from, from Sherwood, too. Ah, oh, that's nice. And the octopus, the same thing. Take the octopus off, adjust it. Now, with octopuses, what we'll often do is get it right on the edge, as I just did. And then make it a little bit harder, just a little bit in, a little bit harder. That prevents the octopus from free flowing too easily. You know, sometimes you jump in, the octopus takes off. Well, you can adjust it so it's not quite as easy to breathe. That's the first stage. Okay. Intermediate pressure. I showed you this other gauge. If you have an intermediate pressure gauge like this, it is a fitting that will go into a low pressure hose like this. Watch the gauge for a second. I put this low pressure BC hose onto that. Pressure gauge. 137, 137 PSI, which is perfect for Skipper Pro. They're supposed to be 135 to 145 PSI, I'm pretty sure I'm right there. So this, all this does is show the technician exactly what the intermediate pressure is. Now, if you watch that gauge for a moment, while I purge the regulator, watch, can you watch this, Kevin? I'm gonna purge the regulator, it'll be too close. I think they'll see it, ready? As I said, when you suck on the second stage, it takes the air out of this hose, which is the intermediate pressure. Same as this hose. It drops. And then the first stage kicks in, it fills it back up. Just like that. Clear? There you go. Now again, I'm not condoning that you adjust, take it apart, even play with your own regulators. It's always better to take it to the technician at the LDS. He was a nice guy. He will probably show you these things. You can take training programs yourself as well. Speak to your local doctor. That's the best source. But now you have a better idea what I meant earlier when I said Skiba Pro, Sherwood, Oceanic, Aqualung, doesn't matter. You can mix them all up, but then they have to be set so that the pressures match. That all makes sense? I hope so. Keep the comments coming. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips.